Hey Miners, welcome to Remote Mining Morning TV. Today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. Today we'll be finding out who the next staff spotlight is, another episode of Chilling with Dylan, a message about NJHF, a birthday video from ASB, and much more. But before we start, I'm Ethan. And I'm Chris with Ann, and Remote Minor Morning TV starts right now. Congrats to Cole Uno for winning the Planner Art Contest. Make sure to check your school email for a message from Mrs. Clack about picking up your art basket prize from the office. Join us this Friday on March 12th during Minor Pride for a silly game of drawing on your head. You don't need to be a great artist to play. Just grab some paper, a book of some sort, something to draw with, and get ready to laugh. Hey, Miners. NJHS is here to remind you that if you made it into NJHS, you need to fill out the form in the Google Classroom. Here's a video explaining more. Hi, Miners. It's Miss B here, Miss Blevins. Um, I am here to remind you as your seventh grade NJHS or National Junior Honor Society advisor that letters have been sent out for those that have qualified for National Junior Honor Society a while ago. That means you have accumulated a 3.5 GPA um, over your time here at Placerita. If you have not received a letter and you feel that you need to, please contact myself for seventh grade, Ms. Blevins, or Mrs. Tate for eighth grade. Um, National Junior Honor Society, again, is um, an organization to honor you for all your hard work here during this time at Placerita. Over to Ms. Tate, who's gonna tell you what you need to do to be inducted. Hi, Miners. National Junior Honor Society is a national um, organization. We recognize you for your, your high academic standards and for your service to your community, your citizenship. And um, we, we will be honoring you at a virtual ceremony in the spring. But the main thing we, Ms. Blevins and I wanted to remind you of is to get the form done in Google Classroom. Many, many, many of you have not done it yet. Our deadline is going to be April 13th. So please make sure you get into the Google Classroom. If you don't have that code, send us an email and we will give you the invite. We, um, if you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Trust me, you want to be part of NJHS. It looks great on your transcripts. Your parents are proud, and it honors all the work you've done during this difficult time. Again, email us if you have any questions. Have a great day. Now over to Chilling with Dylan. Thank you, and welcome back to Chilling with Dylan. Today will be all about the NBA All-Star Game. On Sunday, the NBA All-Star Game took place and the winner was Team LeBron. LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers was the captain of Team LeBron and he made his 17th All-Star Game appearance. Even though that Kevin Durant of the Brooklyn Nets didn't play, he was the captain for Team Durant. At the end of the game, the target was to have one team get to 170 points and Team LeBron got there first and ended up winning 170 to 150. The MVP of the All-Star Game was Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Team LeBron. The second half of the NBA season will start on Wednesday, so good luck for whoever you root for. That's it for this week. Now back to the hosts. Thanks, Dylan. Now, let's find out who's on the teacher spotlight this week.
Blevins. Now here's a little happy birthday from ASB. Happy birthday, everyone. Every day at Plaster it is a holiday, and today is the National Unique Names Day. That's all from us, recorded from inside our home in Southern California during quarantine. I'm Christiane. And I'm Ethan. Stay safe, miners, and have a thrilling Tuesday. You know you're still recording. I don't know if you want to pause it. But no, we should just keep this as Minor Morning TV. At the end. Oh, this is amazing. And have like a little side box of bloopers. What if what if people wore headphones like this? If this was very odd.